Hi Pisces, welcome to your December 2017 general tarot reading. It's Rena here. And this is full disclosure for Pisces. Earlier in the day, I actually did lay out some cards for you and I absentmindedly just uh, <laughs> started collecting them into a pile because I was going to revisit the, the reading and completely forgot all about it while I was doing a private reading. So sorry about that, but if we believe that all things happen for a reason, then I guess that wasn't meant to be. At least that's the story I'm going with, okay? I got that card. It's funny that I got that card in both readings. So I was waiting to get that Ten of Wands because um, in the first go around it was in the past position and now it's in the outcome. And really with these readings the timing uh, is, is immaterial because I look at these as themes for your life. Uh, some people have told me, oh, you know, this reading was actually something that happened a month ago. So, and some people might not really resonate with it at all. It's all good. So anyway, it's, the first thing that jumps out at me is that there are four cards with wands. Wands represents the fire element. And so for people, these are Aries, Sagittarians, Leo people. If they're actual people in your life, they don't have to be that particular sun sign. I got a comment from somebody the other day and they go, stop telling what astrological sign it is. It's never that sign. And one thing that I wanted to tell him is that First of all, I did say these are general readings, so it's a little bit silly to expect uh, these types of readings to really <laughs> pinpoint your life. But the other thing, too, is that it doesn't have to be the sun sign. With fire energy, you're looking at somebody who is very passionate. They may be kind of loud. They may be kind of um, over the top, and they overemphasize things, be full of drama melodramatic um, and they may yeah, you're a Pisces you may have a moon in Leo or Leo rising and be just like that so if it's a, an aspect of you but I'm looking at these cars as possible other people and um, so let's just start with the the past position the four of cups is a card of possible disillusionment or just plain disinterest. You can see that somebody is offering, the, the clouds is offering a cup to this person and they're like staring right through it because it's not what they want. So there's an offer of love, which is what cups represent, is that emotional offer. But the person is not seeing it. They're not even really seeing that this is being offered to them. I would say for Pisces, this is your past position, um, that for some Pisces people, you may have um, taken for granted somebody else's emotional affection towards you. And I'm not willing to assume that that offer was illegitimate or that that wasn't a good thing for you. Pisces is one of those signs where I could see you being more attracted to, I'll call them bad boys, even though, um, <laughs> well, some men, if you're watching some men, you may be attracted to bad boys too. I don't know. But you know what I mean. I'm, 
I'm, I have mostly female viewers who are attracted to men and they will, some of them will be more attracted to guys who are unavailable, who are uh, even cheating rather than the faithful ones. People have all kinds of, I was going to say twisted ideas and, and that's judgmental, I know, and I'm being kind of half joking about it. But in terms of like um, feeling that if somebody is stable emotionally, if somebody is um, reliable, that there's something wrong with them in the form of like, oh, they're boring. <laughs> but this other guy, I mean, I try to call him. I can never get him. There's something dangerous about him. He keeps me on my toes. It's so exciting. But it's really full of drama. It's not, it's not really what the word excitement should mean. It's more of a negative type of excitement. Also, with the Four of Cups, it can represent stable emotions being offered you, and you are kind of indifferent to it. Um, some people who grow up in very chaotic, uh, who have had a very chaotic childhood, they can think that that is a normal way to live, and so they're kind of living on their nerves, they're living on the edge of their seat, and they get this person who goes to work every day, who doesn't drink to excess, who is very um, stable, and they're like, I'm out of here, because they feel bored to tears. And that is that is not the other person's fault or problem. It's really within that, that person who doesn't recognize what is a healthy relationship. For the heart of the matter, we have the two of Wands, so there is some kind of decision that needs to be made. Sometimes this can be even, I would say, work-related, where the the wands can relate to your career or your or your business, your creative project, and you're deciding whether or not to relocate. And somebody pointed out to me that there, that there was another hand on that um, wand, and I always said I'm going to look it up. I think I tried to, and I couldn't find anything yet. So if anyone knows what this means, my interpretation is that your decision, you know, affects other people. And there may be someone else who is really connected to that decision that you feel like you have to answer to. So one example would be a spouse. Now, if there is a situation where there's some kind of um, extramarital relationship, you may feel like your hand is being, um, what's that expression? Like you are um, having to show your hand. You're having to, to make a decision. Maybe you have kind of been putting it off. Uh, you may be unsatisfied with your marriage and are deciding whether or not to leave and possibly choosing between two people but something is keeping you from doing that maybe your concern for your spouse that you feel responsible for them you feel guilty uh, definitely Pisces does not want to hurt anybody when they do something and it can feel very agonizing in that sense because for some people, the love may be gone from a relationship. I'm not saying that the Four of Cups means that you're uh, in the wrong, but I wanted to like put it out there that sometimes people are indifferent about love coming into their life because it's it's not it's a healthy relationship and they're not used to that. Um, typically, I talk about relationships, but this can also be in terms of career goals. You may have um, a job offer that doesn't interest you because you don't like that type of work. And so in that case, it would be something that it would be um, understandable that you would kind of like not feel enthusiastic because it's just not what you're into. But you still may be tempted, you know, especially if it's a good offer. 
And what is um, happening right now for you, which is really exciting, is the the Wheel of Fortune. So feeling that sense of alignment with your life. Once again, uh, your ruler is uh, Neptune, and Neptune went direct on November 22nd. So it, it Neptune is a very uh, slow-moving planet. So it is possible that you won't necessarily feel the effects of Neptune turning direct until December. But what's nice about this is that because it's your ruler, when it when a a planet that somebody's ruler goes retrograde, the person may feel like their life is slowing down. And now you're getting back into alignment and you're feeling like you know, luck is, things are going your way, uh, things are going more smoothly, and you just may feel like in that groove again. And that can help you make a decision, because even if you decide to turn down a, a, an offer of love or a um, job offer, you still are not going to feel like, oh, I just... Um, turn down the only offer off <laughs> offer I'm going to get in my life. Like in other words, you're going to feel like there's more where that came from and you're not going to be so fear based about, oh I have to accept this person's you know, I have to go out on this date because this person wanted me to. The higher message is the nine of pentacles and this is about economic self sufficiency. The number nine represents independence or, you know, being alone and, and the pentacles relate the to money and other financial entities. And um, so when you put that together, it's like really standing on your own two feet in a, in a material sense. But as the spiritual message, it's saying that you have really overcome a particular challenge. Maybe you were afraid to stand on your own two feet about something. And that's one of the reasons why you stayed in a marriage that too long or stayed in a job that you were no longer happy with. And now you are understanding, you know, you're kind of getting in touch with your true power and it's not kind of dependent on these uh, other sources or people. Pisces is a rather dependent sign and I don't say that as an insult. It's just that um, all feminine signs to some degree are dependent because they are passive. Passive signs, passive people tend to kind of um, not interact that vigorously with the outer world. You know, obviously most people do. They're not recluses or anything, but they do tend to keep their own counsel and not necessarily strive to be in the public eye and out there, but are more comfortable at home, kind of in a retired state of in your own little um, nest, which is your, your home environment. And so putting yourself out there can be a major uh, challenge, but you seem to have been able to retain your sense of independence. What crosses you is represented by the Knight of Wands. This can be a womanizer type of a, a man who is very dynamic and very fun to be around. Again, that fiery energy of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that is present in his nature. And the, the wands also connect to sexual passion. So this person, that's why I said a womanizer, because this person may be, have a hard time settling down. They may actually want to, and so they may give the impression that they're going to do it with you, but they just remain uncommitted because they have a fear of um, settling down with somebody. But it may not be malicious. It just may be that they love their freedom too much. And this, in this position, it indicates that this person is having a rather 
um, detrimental effect on you and just to kind of let you know how that is so that you can make the best decisions possible because during December you may hear from somebody from your past and this could definitely be somebody who you used to date and they come back into the picture and they wreak havoc on your life once again because you were not cautious you just kind of like maybe because it's the holiday season you kind of glossed over some of their past indiscretions infractions and then right away it was back in that negative situation so it's kind of like a warning to you what's coming in is represented by the page of wands and it's good news news that is energizing that kind of gets you to feel like life is heating up again maybe there's maybe the four of cups is showing some kind of a lull in your life some kind of a stagnant stagnancy and actually with the wheel of fortune in the present position it does show that forward movement and you may whatever this news may be and it could come during the mercury retrograde it could be this sense of like I'm going to do this new thing maybe it's a job offer and you feel like you're starting something new um, and you're very enthusiastic about the prospects of whatever this new thing is and then the outcome is the ten of wands which I told you I picked in the last reading in a different position but in this one it's ending the reading which is kind of apropos since the number ten is all about endings but this is a card of feeling like kind of overburdened by your work and even physical exhaustion which can lead to you burning out and then you're no good to your employer so it could be that you get news about something and you know a new job and stuff but it's taking its toll because it's something you may get a promotion or something like that but then you also have to work harder so sometimes when you get what you want it comes at a price you know a higher salary uh, more glory but then also more responsibility and that responsibility for a Pisces I, I don't see many Pisces people as even aspiring to be managers or something like that because there's that tendency to see um, to, to not be necessarily interested in bossing other people around and that could lead to if you are ever in a supervisory position to feeling really stressed out about it maybe even feeling a little guilty like who am I to tell other people what to do and with the ten of wands you have to learn balance because otherwise it's going to be um, something that's you it can't sustain itself over time uh, and because it's the holiday season it could have a direct connection to why you're working so hard so it's possible that it is only like a temporary thing and you're going to get back to a normal schedule but um, in my book by Anthony Lewis plain and simple which is a, one of my go-to tarot books um, it calls it the burden of success because it is this card of something that maybe it's what you wanted very badly but the cost is steep and again this may be just kind of temporary and everything's going to go back to normal you know after the first of the year but you have to take care of yourself in order to sustain this kind of a schedule but it looks really good, you know, it really does look good um, with a lot of new beginnings in your work life and financial security with the Nine of Pentacles, the card of um, alignment, the Wheel of Fortune, lucky times ahead. So, good for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this. Just want to let you know that I still have my 20% off sale through the end of 2017. 
The link is below for that. Have a wonderful holiday and Happy New Year. Take care. Bye.